Hi, it's time for another math. Easy solution here and discuss, well, precise definition of uh, limits, but now look at one-sided limit, just uh, basically reformulate the old intuitive definitions what I went over in my earlier videos. You can see in the video link below on one-sided limits. Basically, to recap on the intuitive definition, not really the precise one, uh, basically for left-hand limits, limit as x approaches a from the left, yeah, from, we put in minus sign here, this is from the left side, of f of x equals l and you basically stated the limit of f, f of x as x approaches a from the left is equal to l and the right side hit the limits exact same thing so if you put a plus now and it's now limit of, x, of, of f of x as x approaches a from the right side and if you look at it graphically if you have this function f of x here so then if this is a now as you're approaching a from the left side just means approaching from this side so you're going to get this value of f of x but if you approach from the right side, you approach from this as the plus side, as the negative side, and you get this value here versus this. So that's that's basically the intuitive definition, but now I'll go over the uh, the precise definition. Yeah, so now to reformulate these above intuitive definitions into the precise definition form, similar to my early video on precise definition of limits in general. So now we have this, uh, this one for the left-hand limit limit as x approaches a from the left side or the negative side same as above of f of x equals to l if for every number epsilon which is greater than zero there is a number delta which is also greater than zero such that the difference or this f of x minus l the absolute value is less than delta i mean less than epsilon whenever the x is in between a and a minus uh, delta right here and if, if you look at it just in brackets here I wrote in limits in general my earlier video I, the only difference now than this part is going to be x minus a the absolute value, uh, absolute value is less than uh, delta yeah less than delta here and what this is saying is that this is on either side but this one we're looking at the left side of a here I'll illustrate this with a graph soon after I just recap this precise definition of the right hand limit so the same thing as above but now you have limit as x approaches a from the right side or the positive side of f of x equals l if for every number epsilon greater than zero there's a number delta which is also greater than zero such that all well, the difference in f of x and the limit is uh, less than uh, epsilon right here whenever a is less than x and x less than a plus delta or on the right side of a right here and i'll illustrate that with this figure if this is fx right here and if let's say this is at this is the limit we're looking for at a yeah so if i just draw these lines on it right here similar to my uh, graph which i showed in the video on uh, precise de definition of limits in general but now if you look at it this way so this limit is at this point is the l so this is the a so as we're approaching x uh, yeah, approaching A from, if we look at the left side limit, all we need to do is look at this side here. So if we're approaching from this side, if this is going to be X, now this X is in between, as you can see clearly, less than A, and it's going to be greater than this A minus delta. And this delta is just a distance from A right here. So the absolute value of distance from there. But when we look at in, in limits in general, we look at both cases. So that's why we had this X minus A absolute value is less than delta here. Now if we look at the right side limit, we're just, all, all we're going to be is, is here now instead of the left side. So And we're going to be going from the right to the left. So this one X is going to be in between A plus this delta. And it's going to be, it's going to be a little greater than, uh, it's less than A plus delta, but it's greater than A right there. And now uh, basically the definition is saying, so if you're, if you're somewhere here in the f of x, remember f of x, uh, if you're somewhere here, then this is for the left hand limit. It, you need to have a, have a number delta such that you have this case right here is in between here. So that's all, all it's saying. So if this is really, really small, this number epsilon, so the absolute value distance from L is really, really small then this there has to be a delta as well so this delta will be small as well so it'll be it would have to be in between it in between it well and you can see in the video link below on general limits here uh but that's all for today actually yeah, so this is this is all i wanted to show is how to write it uh, write one side limits in the precise definition form it's just a bit more abstract but the same idea all the saying the difference here has to be less than any small number uh, whenever this this is true, whenever x is approaching a here, and there has to be a delta such that the, yes, you, there has to be a corresponding delta such that it's always going to be smaller than whenever you're getting smaller and smaller. Well, that's all for today. Hopefully, uh, you learned from uh, this, and we can download these notes in the Dropbox link below. I'll do examples on this in another uh, video. Well, that's all for today. Stay tuned for another math easy solution.